With cold cases, very often what's left of a victim is downstairs in our evidence room in a, in a box or in, in a paperwork or in a paper file, photographs. And so it's really important for me to humanize these people because that's all that's left of a human being. They shouldn't be lost. And so I bring them back to life as much as I can by calling them by their name, talking to them in the, in the files, or talking of them to other people by their name and not just a number. These old cases are not cases that weren't worked to their fullest potential to begin with, but with the progression of science, in particular DNA, we've had the opportunity through a federal grant to review all of our old cases. My husband's an engineer and he says, how come there's no shows on engineers? You know, people don't want to see that stuff. They want to believe that this is um, something very exciting. And this job often entails a lot of hours of research on the computer, or reading um, old case files, talking to people um, about things that are very, very difficult to talk about. It, you know, you really have to do something to balance it or you become part of it. It, it can suck you in. Um, and I think that I do a good job in surrounding myself by beauty. I have, you know, I have a wonderful family, great friends, um, and a great support system. So uh, it keeps me motivated. These cold cases are not more important than a recent murder, a recent homicide, but they are as important. And we've never given up on these cases, we've never stopped wanting to get them solved, but the problem is we don't have the resources to do it. Families out there have been waiting for a lot of years to hear something positive about their loved one that they've lost. For everybody who has um, any feeling, you know, any appreciation for human life, to know that these are important and, and to support the continuation of the, of the investigations.